Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Simony in here. Today we're back with episode three of our Nuclear War um, modded hard uh, core series. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, we actually found a little cave here, and I made a little... Uh, I don't know what this is going to be yet. I think we'll be like a storage room or something. I did accidentally break a coal, so like... Yeah, it's not probably going to be down there right now. Anyway, there was a storm that was going on while I was... uh doing all that and this is the aftermath look at that this is pretty hectic out here honestly it really cleared out a lot of things i do say like you can see like there's trees like that have just been like taken off and stuff also knocked out my fire which is not pretty cool but yeah that's what happened Alright, we're going to go ahead and maybe consider building a wall now, since we have all this open area. Or some time, come on. Because every good compound needs a fence. Alright, let's see here. Do I use your fancy, or do I just... Yeah, I think we're just going to go with steel for that. I don't want to use anything too fancy. I don't know how to make, uh, whatchamacallits see here um hmm. i don't know if it's a, i think it's a wall would it be considered a wall let's find out here so many different kinds of walls okay so that's that then that's pretty easy to remember play work new reaction two three four five six so you just plop all of them in there at once we should get like six stacks of them Which is just ridiculous. Yeah. Let's get it. So, first things first. I'm going to clear out the area. I kind of want to have like a little moat kind of area, if you will. So, like, I'm going to have my wall probably like right here, right? So, like, nothing can get over it. So, sure, I could have it like this. Here, let me release this down. I could have it like that. But, yeah, the problem begins to arise. We'll just dig out a little area here. Preparing our defenses. Alright, probably right to here. We're gonna make this a little moat right here. As you never know when something might happen. Because uh, I want to at least, like, you know, have a wall around my base here. Make it look like an actual, like, bunker kind of thing. The military complex, if you will. Just gonna go ahead and clear that out real quick. This is like a uh, step up in the security game, honestly. Just gotta start plopping that down. Just like that. See, the problem is they could probably just jump right over that, right? So we're gonna have to take it back just a little. I don't know if they can even jump anyway, but like I just want to be on the safe side. It's better be safe than sorry. Alright, and we're gonna have this little thing going around at least part of the pond here. I just want to have a little pond area here for myself. So I don't know how that's going to work yet. I think if I just dig this out, then the water will flow in. Right. So I should be able to grab water. I think I'm going to put a guard in there, actually. That's a good idea. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and work on this wall some more here. And we're going to clear this out. The meteorite. Like, I don't know if it was the storm that caused all these floating blocks or, like, the meteorite. Just, like, landing here. But it's very obnoxious. Give me that. 
just makes uh, operational security just a little bit harder. And nighttime is falling, it seems. Splendid. Alright, all right. we're just going to have to fill this up real quick. This makes OPSEC very hard. Okay, we can... Try to make sure it is, like, impenetrable. And it's... I have to have to dig out another row, it looks like. That's fine. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't think the mobs are that smart anyway. Of course, I say that now, and then I'm probably going to die at the hands of one. I shouldn't be out here right now. I really shouldn't be out here right now. Got to check my six. I'm a little stressed, uh, not going to lie. Too many bad things have happened before in the past. There we go. That is a wall. Repair this so maybe I have some, like, actual growing area here. Alright, so this is gonna be the goal. This is gonna be the arch. So I'm gonna have a gate here and stuff. Right now, it's just gonna be another wall. <laughs> Hey, look at that. It looks that looks cozy. Light it up so like the chances of stuff spawning in like lowers. I feel like the game got a little more laggy with my uh, little freaking torch out. That's splendid. Real nice. Look at this. I need more water. I need to make a water filter. I don't think I even have a bed, do I? <laughs> I can make some doors. I think we go with spruce. Spruce doors. Let's see here. Mm. That's trap doors. I want actual doors. There we go. So I have two for this. I need a room where it's hot. And a door for this. I need more doors. I need to get, like, wool or something, because, like, I keep getting, like, too hot. Or not too hot, too cold. <laughs> I forgot I could make a helmet with this. I'll keep my melon from freezing. I do not like to night times for this exact reason. Like why I gotta be so why I gotta be so cold? Oh, frick. This is going to be problematic now, because I've opened up Pandora's box, right? Which means something might spawn in here now. Really? A stalactite blocking my way? Oh, you've got to be joking. I 
need to get more torches immediately. All right, look at that. Looking nice. We got more resources. Some iron crystals, which will actually give us a bunch of iron. Okay, let's see here. Mm, I have to make a chest down here. <laughs> So I don't feel like carrying my stuff upstairs every time I want to go up there. Okay, that is ugly looking chest. So we're just going to start tossing resources in here. Maybe we'll have a furnace down here too, who knows. This is going to be the archaeology dig site whole thing. Worse than that too, that's crazy. I'm not mining any coal right now, except for what I have to, because uh, coal dust bad. It's bad for the lungs, apparently. Here, let me get out of here. There we go. See, that looks kind of cool, actually. It looks, <laughs> looks cooler than I was expecting. Here, let me get up here now, because I'm trying to uh, enhance our operational security here. But, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I thought I had a spot for that. Crazy. Look at all these areas. Bats. I'm kind of glad it's bats and not anything else. See, this is why you check your surroundings, because something... A mini zombie could fall in there and then climb it the whole way over here and try to do me in, right? I mind you, that's not likely at all, but regardless. <laughs> Never be too safe. Okay, that's good. This goes on, doesn't it? Oh, that looks so pretty, too. I think there might be something down here. This is looking... This is looking different than I was expecting. Got a beady stick, and I'm not afraid to use it. There's so many ex at entrances and nonsense, man. This is ridiculous. Look at this. Right, we're gonna have to get some lignite and disappear. Try to pop a belief. I think hopping like away from it actually probably makes you breathe in more of the coal dust. Oh, you know what? It gives us the coal dust in our inventory, too, doesn't it? But or not? This is pretty fancy. Whatever this is. It's not like any cave I've ever seen. So no, I think we should probably... Put, yep, it's already happening. Okay, I have to put all this into actual freaking torches. Because that's the only way I'm going to survive. 
torches, torches, torches. I think the coal dust has already gotten to me. Is there a cure for coal dust? Doesn't say there's a cure for it. Buy a cure for miners along. Fun. Hmm. No, I'm really unfamiliar with this version, so I don't know if like it will disappear like it does in the regular version, or if you, or if you can survive with it. Realistically, I I don't care if I have black lung; I just want to survive it. I feel like that's fair. I got a little sippy sip. Bad things are happening. Do da, do da. I got the cold lung. Do da. Well, well, well. If it isn't the consequences of my actions. Yeah, we need this, actually. That's very good, actually. We need that and something else to make a uh, gas mask. So insulator, we need that. Well, we could just use bricks. Easy. Light work. So we need uh, glass panes. I don't know if they have to be a specific color or not. And iron plate. That's going to be hard to make because I don't know how to make it. An anvil. Okay, we can do that. I need an anvil then. is a bunch of iron. Okay, easy. I don't know how much iron we have. We got 21 plus this and plus the uh, other stuff. The crystals. Sounds like Breaking Bad for real. Got some crystals, Mr. White. I need this if we ever engage in the mechanisms. If we don't die before we in get to interact with the mechanism mod. <laughs> I think I might be lost. Nope, we're good. I mean, I'm, you hear that? I'm coughing here. <laughs> like, shut up. Be so friggin' for real. Alright, let's get some of the smelted here because we have to get some good stuff here. I might have to make another one so this process can go a little faster. We did have lignite, but like we had to get rid of it, so I don't know how that's going to work. Okay, we're just going to steal half of the fuel from this. I'm surprised that doesn't give you like freaking dust inhalation or whatever. I think that makes sense. All right, let's go get them crystals. Doesn't give us coal dust, the coal dust effect in this version. That's odd, because in the uh, uh, the one point seven point ten version, it does. Like even while it's in your inventory. All right. Let's let's do the crystals first. I think they drop a little bit more. I 
I think I can actually start crafting most of this stuff. Boom. That. I think it's just like a little sandwich almost. Tier 1. So now we have to make steel. Our dungeons... We are the Brotherhood of Steel. <laughs> All right, so I think in order to make steel, I have to make. Let's see what kind of steel we're making first. Steel ingots, HVM nuclear tech mod. So you either make need to make steel powder. So I need uh like a good decent amount of ingots for that. Text that for dusted steel. How's this made? Yada, yada, yada. Okay, that doesn't really help me. I need a blast furnace. A blast furnace. So I need fire bricks. Which is fire clay with aluminum powder. Which is really hard to obtain right now. So, um, hmm. What does alloy smelter do here? Machine block, redstone. So if we had redstone, I don't think we do. So if we can find redstone, then we'll be solid on that. Or, hmm. yeah, because we don't have many sheep. I, that would be a good idea. We need that. I went the wrong way here. <laughs> I can also like sieve out like uh like all the resources I need too if I wanted to do that, but that will take like making a string thing and all that. A sieve. That's what it is. So I don't know exactly how we're gonna do this. What level are we at, anyway? 46. It's hoping to bring us down a little lower. It's not. That helps. Very much so. <laughs> okay. Fuck it, I'll just make a mine shaft. God, is it all freaking dirt? It was. No, not the coal dust. Nice try. I hate that because now I actually have to switch tools. <laughs> Limestone. I probably should not have dropped down here like that. But what can I say? I'm the CEO of Poor Decisions. I'm running out of freaking water. What the heck is this? Out here looking like some back rooms and on. Yep, that helps. That really helps. It's not a skeleton. 
Bro, I thought that was a skeleton. I need to get my eyes checked. That's crazy. I had a live and was like, oh, freak, that's a skeleton. <laughs> that's funny. Twenty-seven. I think redstone's still a little lower, though. We're down to uranium and stuff. Uranium fevers got me fe. I think that's ah, destabilized redstone. Not gonna lie, bro, kind of stressed right now. Okay, so we got. I assume that's uranium ore from the HP nuclear tech mod. This is thorium, I know that. Also, uranium. I don't want to pick up anything radioactive yet, though. Seeing how that could be a real quick life ender for me if, uh, you know, I have that in my inventory too long. I, even know, I forgot I had bread in my inventory. Alright, so we just gotta make that basic machine. This is uh, aluminum, I think, so that's good. Titanium, that's even better. Okay, more radioactive stuff. It's always good to explore your surroundings, you know, make, sh you know, take inventory of anything that's down here that might be useful. It's got a lot of resources, honestly. Not specifically for the HBM nuclear tech mod, but just in general. It's kind of cool in its own weird kind of way. Like, why is there a forest in here? I kind of lost my way, I'm not going to lie. Okay, we're good. We're back to our home spot here. I think that's brilliant. That was... Oh, that's right. I forgot about those. <laughs> this is a real hazard, regardless. Pitfalls. Okay, I'm getting up out of here. Okay, so we got 37, which is more than enough than what we need it for. And I think we also need glass, so that's going to be slightly more problematic. To make our machine frame. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give gimme that water. I wouldn't be drinking so much if I wasn't running around so much. I'm only human after all. I honestly don't know if okay, we're good. We're going the right way. I it's easy to get lost in these caves, man. Alright, so let's see if we can make this machine frame. If not, we might have to make it in the next episode. And so I just went to here and then... Furnace. I think we might actually need RF for that, though. That, that's going to be a problem. So I have no way of generating electricity right now. That also, okay. Yeah, that was actually pointless. Now that I'm looking back on it, so need stone. Okay, so this is what we should be focusing on here. And we need grains of infinity. Great. You know why? Because that means we have to go down to bedrock to get that. Well, there's gonna be more alley furnaces. That's crazy. Oh, it doesn't really. That really doesn't really help, does it? Damn. So our 
our cheapest option is going to be the blast furnace. Uh, we oh tech guns has got one. So this needs block of iron, iron plates. <laughs> uh, I think we need a level two anvil for that. Right. Which doesn't make sense. I feel like it'd be easier to hammer out a little block of iron than it would be to like you know. That's just me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.